How's it going peeps? Pro Planner here and today I wanted to go a little bit more in depth with the new tracker. But first, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Is it is it a little bit cramped here, you know? In all my videos, when I'm doing them in the car or when I'm holding the camera, it seems rather cramped. I know just the fix. Uh, one moment. Oh, look at that. <laughs> yes, I got a new camera lens. Uh, this is the Canon 10 to 18 millimeter wide angle lens. So now I have all this play space. It's amazing. Perfect for cramped spaces. I literally just got this. And I've been using the stock lens since last Christmas. So this was, this was on my wish list for a long time. It's going to be a blast using this in the future. But anyway. Back to the new tracker. So a lot of the comments that I was getting in my previous Pokemon Go video were in regards to the tracker and that they've updated their app and they still don't have the new tracker. Well, here in Australia, uh, we've got it, I guess, early? I'm not quite sure. I don't know when the rest of the world will get it. Probably really soon. Uh, but I just wanted to talk a little bit more about it because I only went over it briefly uh, the other day. So uh, let's pull out Pokemon Go and have a look. Alright, so I'm at Pokestop Park. I've got a lot of Pokestops here. And if we check out my nearby list, we've got some Pidgey uh, and Kangaskhan and Omanyte, Machop. They're all in various places. So if we hit this Kangaskhan here and we click on this one, it says that the Kangaskhan is really close. Like, actually, he is really close. I'm going to go out there and catch him. Alright, so if we head on up here, he should ideally spawn. Maybe. We'll see. This new lens is amazing, hey. Oh, we got a Pidgey there. Interesting. There he is, there's the Kangaskhan. Let's try and catch him. Oh, here's a nice CP. Let's try and catch him with one hand again. Here we go. Oh. <clears throat> so hard with one hand. Hang on, I'm going to set the camera down. <sighs> Come on, stay in there for me. He stayed. So it's as easy as that, really. That's so easy. That's ridiculous. Cool stuff. Kang's gone caught. Okay. Ooh, let's see if this uh, Pidgey's a ditto, actually. I'm intrigued. I really gotta go hit up some Pokey stops. Running out of stuff. Stay, 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 yay. Gotcha, okay, so it wasn't a ditto, whatever. All right, so we're back in the car, and as you could see just before, uh, it's fairly straightforward. It points you in the right direction. I could have walked off elsewhere, you know, and then he disappears off the radar, and then I come back to my location, and he's back on the radar, and I'm like, where is he? Well, that pretty much said he was at that Pokestop, and he was. Uh, let's see where this other Kangaskhan is. So, the other Kangaskhan is literally over there. I'm not going to run over there. I've got way too many Kangaskhan, literally. You can see all my Kangaskhan there. I don't need any more. Yeah, so, that's all well and good. It's going to tell me that this Pidgey's across the road, over at the shopping center. Uh, what else can we check? This uh, Machop. Again, the Machop's over there. Uh, at the other pokey stop. What about this uh, Spearow? Where's he? Ah, the Spearow's up there, so he's nearby too. Uh, what else? The Omanyte. Let's check the Omanyte. And the Omanyte's all the way over there, so I can guarantee it that if I went over there to those spots, I would find that Pokemon, and I think that's fantastic. It saves you a lot of hassle. But a lot of questions I was getting were like, what if you live in a rural area, or... What if you don't have any Pokestops around? So that's what I'm here to check because I actually, I'm not 100% sure what happens. Cause you could have like a Snorlax or Dragonite over there where those Pokestops aren't and it wouldn't really tell you that there's a Snorlax or Dragonite because it's not near a Pokestop. So what happens? Well, I'm gonna go for a quick drive. We're gonna have a look and see what happens to the uh, the sightings, the nearby list. Oh my God, what the hell happened to all these Kangaskhan? Seriously. <laughs> Oh, there's so many Kangaskhans. What what gives? This has made the game way too easy now. 
Is there two Kangaskhan over there? What? I'm really, really tempted to uh, go have a peek. Because there's, there's apparently two Kangaskhan over there. Alright, I'm going to jump out of the car. We're going to try and see if I can get these two Kangaskhan. Uh, if not, I'm going to go for a cruise. And we're going to go find an area that has no pokey stops. I can't get over this lens. Look at that. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Alrighty. Over near this Team Instinct gym, hey? Sounds good. It's a little bit windy. I apologize about the audio. But uh, let's head over there and have a look. I could hold this camera forever now. Literally, it's like right, it's right in my face. But it still feels so far away. Try again later, are you kidding me? I'm not even going that fast. Oh, thanks. Let's catch this Pidgey. I'm feeling lucky today. So who's using Ultra Balls on Pidgeys, just in case it's a ditto? Oh. Oh. He's fighting back. Damn Pidgey. Stay. Stay. Good Pidgey. Oh, oh, oh my god, it's a ditto. Hell yeah. What? <laughs> wow. That is sick. I did not see that coming. Oh, he's stronger than my other one. That's awesome. Sweet. There's one Kanga. I'm happy with one. I can't believe that was a ditto. Wow, I didn't I wasn't even trying. Gotcha. All right, so that's another Kangaskhan. Let's catch this fella too. Uh, but you get the idea, this tracking system's incredible. Literally. Like, it literally points you in the right direction. It's so good. Oh, come on. This is a strong one, actually. What am I saying? Okay, he stayed. Alright guys, let's go for a cruise. Alright folks, so I'm out in this field here. There's still pokey stops around, they're further away, but like everywhere I'm driving and I pull up, there's at least one pokey stop, like within a fair distance. So uh as you can see, uh, there's not really much on my nearby list, but uh, let's hit this Pidgey right here. You can see it's telling me that the Pidgey's over there. Uh, what about this Diglett? And the Diglett's all the way over there. So the, the tracking system is very persistent in like telling you what's near a pokey stop. Uh, what else is there? That's Those are the two pokey stops. But you can see how far away I am from some of these pokey stops. It's ridiculous. And like it, it's like, yo, there's nothing else around here except what's at those pokey stops. Now, when I was pulling up to some places, Pokemon were spawning, and these weren't necessarily near any pokey stops. Uh, they weren't on the uh, the nearby list either. So that's interesting. But I'm pretty sure when you are in an area with no pokey stops for miles. It becomes a sightings list and it starts looking around in your area for Pokemon, so that's neat. Alright folks, so I've been for a bit of a drive, I have left the city, I'm out in the middle of nowhere and I've just checked the nearby list and it's now become the sightings, just like the good old days. So. Don't fret for those that don't have Pokestops nearby. Uh, it literally becomes the old sighting system, but uh, there's no Pokemon around here to, to catch. So yeah, I mean, that pretty much answers that. There is nothing out here. No Pokemon or anything. You really have to be in these areas with Pokestops and, you know, gyms and a lot of, uh, I don't know, the city areas, uh, towns, stuff like that where there's Pokestops, there seems to be Pokemon. But uh, out here there's nothing. But it's really good to know that it does become the sighting system again. Uh, it's not the nearby list. 
So, yeah. Neat. I'm not going to catch anything out here though, that's for sure. Man, I remember when the game first came out and there was that footprint system. I really liked that, but I think this new tracking system is so much better. I mean, it took a while, but hey, it's finally here. And it's taken a lot of that frustration out of the game. And I hope that it brings more people into the game to play it. So yeah. Guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's answered a few questions. Uh, let me know what you all think about this new tracker. I think it's great. I think it's going to bring more people in. And for those that hated the old tracking system, and that's the reason they stopped playing the game, well, I feel like they might start playing it now because it takes so much of that frustration out. It's, it's freaking fantastic. So yeah, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. You can follow me on social media. I'll put the good stuff in the description below. I shall see you all in my next video. Take it easy, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye.